and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today, I thought I could bring you along with me in a day in the life video in Dubai. I've just woken up and not just woken up. <laughs> I've got a few things planned, so I'm just about to head for a run. I'm gonna do a 10K this morning. It's actually Saturday when I'm filming this and I usually do my runs, like my longer runs on a Saturday because I have a little bit more time and I just love Saturdays so much at the moment. I'm a bit croaky and I've had a coffee before my greens today and I feel jittery, which is why I don't have a coffee first thing when I wake up, but having a nice morning this morning, me and Mason were having some really good chats, so I made my coffee first. But yeah, I've just had some rice cakes with banana on that is my favorite pre-workout snack at the moment and I love having something light before a run nothing too heavy because you know you can just feel it on your stomach like on your stomach in a way it'll be six weeks today that I've been doing a new workout split and also running and wow I can't believe how much it's just given me such a sense of drive and purpose and I've been retraining with intention I'm just super happy with how I'm feeling in my body I can't tell you how fit I feel so I thought I could show you that in a second like just in the mirror but I need to find some really good high impact running bras because I've doubled up today which I don't normally do but I put this just zip up one and I felt like I was feeling a bit loose up here like I always do a run test in the mirror to see how much bounce there is yeah I'm doubling up but if you've got any recommendations for good running bras let me know in the comments down below oh god I'm looking at my hair I hope you can't tell that this is it will be five or maybe six, no, five day old hair that needs a wash. But I had it done at the hairdresser. I went for a toner last week. And you know when you cling on to your hairdresser hair, because I know I can't style it quite as good in terms of, I feel like my curly blow dries that I do myself just never look like this. And I love how hairdresser hair, it just stays in, doesn't it? For like an entire week and you don't really have to do much to it. But yeah, I thought I would save my hair till after this run. I don't know about you, but I have to really think about my hair washing routine and workout routine and I'm constantly in a battle of like do I wash it today or do I wait until I've sweated like you don't want to sweat in freshly washed hair like this is just a constant struggle also very random so I made my coffee this morning and I was trying to be adventurous so I've run out of Nespresso pods and you can only buy the Nespresso capsules for the Virtuo machine from the actual Nespresso shop and there aren't loads of those around or I couldn't be bothered going to a mall to pick up some more so I was like right let me try this I ordered these the Dolce Gusto capsules I cut like the barcode from an espresso capsule and then tried to put it on here I actually love doing stuff like this this is like my thing I feel like this is a good idea did it work not really but I put the barcode under here so it kind of worked but I just don't think it pierced properly through the plastic top bit of there I don't know why I'm telling you that but I just thought it might have been a good hack to share with you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out something else. Or I just wish you could buy the Nespresso Virtua capsules from more shops like supermarkets. I reckon because it's quite a new machine, maybe that's why they don't have them yet. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you a little physique update anyway whilst I'm here. Yeah, that is six weeks of the lift up challenge completed and I've really enjoyed it. It's also been so nice, like I've actually built some real solid routine back in my life. Like just before Christmas, I had just really gotten out of routine and having something to hold myself accountable has been super helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna have a deload weed, do weed? <laughs> I'm gonna have a deload week over the next week and then go back into a new training program, which you are more than welcome to join if you fancy. I need to think of a name for the next program. That's the only thing I've been stuck on this week, but I'll leave all the links to my fitness app and whatnot down below. This little blue set, which I haven't ran in before, like I'm just hoping this doesn't ride up too much on my inner thighs because I don't fancy chafing today. It is so sore when that happens. I actually think I've lost a little bit of size on my waist. Like I feel like my waist has got smaller from the past six weeks. Either that or I've built more or on my glutes so it's just creating the illusion of a smaller waist actually I haven't taken like tape measurements or anything like that so I wouldn't be 100% but I'm feeling more kind of defined and leaner sort of more agile in myself I feel like and I can definitely see some more definition in my legs which is really nice and this quad has kind of um, matched up to this one like I feel like we always have that one stronger leg whereas I'm not seeing that quite as much now I'm just using my hypervolt gun uh, 
Yeah. Oh God, not good. I'm just using my Hypervolt massage thing. Well, what do you call these things? I don't like calling it a, like a gun as such, but this is so nice. Like sometimes I ask Mason to do it on my legs, but I trained hamstring on Monday, which was days ago now. And I can still feel like a slight ache in my hamstrings right at the top. And I did do some different drop sets. So I did like as many reps as possible on my last two sets doing like half a rep. So changing my range of motion, basically doing half a rep as many reps as possible and then a full rep on the hamstring curl machine and Jesus it absolutely killed and my hamstrings have been in bits ever since in the best way possible and this is just so nice it's really nice just on an evening if you're watching anything like on tv just to do this on any body parts that are sore I would love to know why Mason's put my BCAAs in the top, top cupboard that I use every single day. I don't know what his logic has been behind that, but I'm gonna have to climb up to get to them. Oh my God. How the hell? Oh. I don't know what I can hang on to here. Absolutely not. So this is what I put in my water, just BCAs when I'm running or whatever workout I'm doing, I'll just put this into my bottle of water. Okay, right, I'm just putting my running vest on. I need to get a move on. I feel like I've been procrastinating this morning. Mason and his sister have been to rugby and I was planning to get back like at the same time, but they're in the car on the way back and I've still got a run to go on. But I was tidy up it this morning. I was doing some washing and stuff. So water in here. I always have to take my phone case off to put in here, but I've broken the phone compartment that normally like flips on and off. So I'm just having to slide my phone in with my water. Headphones, I'm praying. I'm praying that they're charged and I, I don't know whether to listen to a podcast. I think I'm gonna listen to a podcast today. I switch it up most runs, just I find that's the best way. Sometimes I listen to a run, Sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I listen to a podcast, and sometimes, you know, and you just get sick of the sound of anything, so you just go in silence. Also do that. Running trainers I'm gonna wear today are the Adidas Ultra Boost. These are the Prime Blue, they're quite cute. Fruit, fruit, fruit. This is a nice angle, isn't it? I've been doing some like come and run with me on Instagram lately and I'm loving doing those like vloggy style videos on Instagram too. I managed to locate my AirPods but I spend so much time trying to find these every day. I think I need to have just a spot for them. I don't think they're very charged. And then I've got my Oakley glasses on. I still find this funny how my dad has had like worn these for years, like these kind of styled Oakleys. And me and my brother used to take the piss out of him when we were younger and after full circle moment, here I am wearing them. Like, let's go run a 10K. I'm gonna keep my heart rate quite low and go at a steady pace today because my hamstrings feel a little bit fatigued. So I'm not gonna push myself. I do think it's important to listen to your body as well. Like rest if you need to rest and take it steadier if you need to take it steadier. On that note, let's be off. Ah, looking a little bit crazy, sorry if it's noisy. I'm 5k in and boiling, but um, it's a nice run. I've got some Lizzo on and I'm just vibing. Oh my god. It was tough today. Every run is just so different. I think these shorts are completely wet through. Got back from my run, I've had a shower. I listened to music on the way, like the first 5K, and then the last 5K I was listening to this podcast. It's Four Steps to Be More Productive Tomorrow by Jay Shetty, and I had to stop and take notes on my run because um, there were so many insane points. It was basically about like your morning routine and a lot about ego, two principles that he was talking about was location has energy and time has memory so you know when we like work out at the same time each day you kind of build that momentum and that energy 
if you like. The body gets into a flow where it remembers stuff at the same time each day, so you know we'll feel hungry at the same time every day. Usually you end up feeling tired or like sleepy at the same time each day. And I just thought, I've never heard it put, like location has energy and time has memory before. I feel like I've got to be in a certain mood for certain types of, if it's like self-help or mindset kind of stuff. But yeah, that was a really amazing podcast. So today's run was not here. So I did 10K and average pace was, average pace, Average pace was 5.36 and I did it in 56 minutes. I think it was hotter today. I did find that like harder today. I did 14K last Saturday and that felt easier than today's run, which is why I always think every run is so different. Oh, for me, I find that. I did definitely feel like my pace has definitely got quicker over the past few weeks, which is really nice to feel fitter. I did it for breakfast. I added a little bit too much milk, but still very nice. Just come to Starbucks drive through and we're just driving to Dubai Hills. We're actually in two cars because Mason's sister is, uh, she needs to collect something or something so Mace has gone with her and then I've just come to get a coffee. I feel like I haven't had a coffee out in ages so I was like let me grab a Starbucks en route but basically Melissa is wanting to view some places and I also, I would love to buy in Dubai, like buy a place in a few years, not anytime soon. I can't see me buying here anytime soon. Everything's really inflated right now in Dubai so I just thought I could go and view something today. I'm just waiting for some estate agents to get back to me. It was a bit last minute but the one this morning did cancel so that is the plan. I don't know what I fancy actually. This is such a nice Starbucks. I swear this wasn't here like when I drove past two weeks ago. Hello. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Take your order, please. Hi, mom. Hi. Oh, please, can I get um, a. Oh. Try it with caramel waffle. Right, I'm gonna grab this cold brew. I actually have never tried a cold brew, so. Thank you so much. I feel like it's getting mildly a bit bitter, I think, this cold brew. Oh, you really look like siblings from this angle, yeah. Oh, that is really nice. It just tastes like a real good, strong Americano, like a bit more intense, if you know what I mean. Oh, I bet that's really strong, actually. I'm going to be shaking for the rest of the day, I bet, after this. Would I get it again? I don't know. I can't decide. I, feel, I like it, but um, I feel like it needs a bit of milk or some sort of sweetener. But it's nice having a cold coffee actually. I haven't had a cold iced coffee in forever. So we're just in this like showroom place in Dubai Hills and Melissa's here in her pink beautiful set. We've got we've got a pineapple juice and we've both got a mint tea. Thank you lady. So here's Creek Harbour which is near downtown. So this is they're building this huge, I don't know what to call this, but basically it's like it's, it's gonna be bigger than the Burj Khalifa apparently, which is there. I can't even really imagine it. But these are all already sold out, which is mad. So we're just having a look. They've got all these little mini estates, which are just so cute. They're on these little dolls' houses. Hello, Is that your daddy? Hmm? Look at this. Oh, just in Giant and I've never seen this before but they have such a big variety of protein bars. I don't know where to try this Mars protein bar. They've got Snickers one as well but I don't like them and they have loads of like protein wafers. With a protein bar I always make sure it's got at least 20 grams in. Like these wafers look really nice but it's 12. Oh my gosh it's basically like a whole aisle of protein bars.
and I am exhausted. We got lost in the mall and we just did two huge circles. I feel like I've done, let me see how many steps. I feel like I've done so many today. 18,437 steps. I feel like the majority of those were in that mall. We around for ages but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this little vlog let me know if you would want to see some more content like this where i just take you along throughout my day and we can just have a little day together i'm gonna sleep so well tonight plan of action for this evening is just to probably watch something on netflix or i've been really liking watching uh, like renovation projects on youtube i've had those on most nights i'm really in like house mode at the minute i would love you to stick around by subscribing so you can see my next videos and also if you could hit like on this video i would appreciate it so much just hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you in the next video